ஹலோ டியர் வியூவர்ஸ் ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஆர் டூயிங் வெல் வெல்கம் டு ரிவிஷன் டைம் இன் நம்ம ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹாவ் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் வேரியஸ் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் அனலைஸ் தோஸ் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் அவர் த்ரீ கோல்டன் ரூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் அக்கௌண்டிங் தோஸ் ஆர் பர்சனல் அக்கௌண்ட் வித் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் டெபிட் த ரிசீவர் கிரெடிட் த கீவர் ரியல் அக்கௌண்ட் டெபிட் வாட் கம்ஸ் இன் கிரெடிட் வாட் கோஸ் அவுட் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட்லி நாமினல் அக்கௌண்ட் டெபிட் ஆல் எக்ஸ்பென்சஸ் அண்ட் லாஸஸ் கிரெடிட் ஆல் இன்கம்ஸ் அண்ட் கெயின்ஸ் so these three accounts and the rules related to it we analyzed various transactions understood which transaction uh, affects which accounts and how we have to analyze them understand under which account it comes and then uh, understand if it is a debit or credit and then record it in our journal in this video it's only about banking entries let's get started first one we have is cash deposited into bank let us see how we have to analyze this transaction first it will be like let us understand which all accounts come into consideration that is cash account and bank account now we all know cash account we all know cash account is real account and bank account is our personal account and our real account states that credit credit what goes out and under our bank account is personal account and they are the receiver so debit the receiver our entry here will be bank account debit to cash account so this will be our entry for our first journal transaction that is when you deposit cash into bank so next one we have is when cash is withdrawn from bank here again bank account and cash account bank account again we know is a personal account cash account is a real account so here bank is the receiver so debit money is going out of the business so credit so here it will be bank bank account debit to cash account so this is the entry for when cash is withdrawn from the bank next entry we have is when check is received from customer so here again we have to understand which transactions come into consider here we are receiving the check but the check is not deposited it we have it with us so check in hand account and other one is since customer so customers account right real account and customer we all know is an individual is a personal account now we are receiving debit what comes in and customer is the giver so customer is credited here check in hand account debit to customers account our next entry is when check is deposited into bank now check is deposited into bank here we have two accounts that is bank account and check check in hand account again we know this is a real account and personal account we are depositing so bank is the receiver debit and this is credit so bank account debit to check in hand account 
so this is the entry for when check is deposited into bank next when if the check is deposited on the same day let us look into the entry if the check is deposited on the same day in our previous transaction we had received the check and check was with us now in this transaction the check is directly deposited into the bank so here it will be bank account and customers account and again we know bank is personal and this is also a personal account bank is the receiver so debit and customer is the giver so credit so entry will be bank account debit to cus customers account next we have if the check is dishonored so before we write the entry for this we have to understand what is dishonor for example now uh, a customer has presented you a check of rupees 20000 now in that person's account in the customer's account there is only 15000 rupees and he has presented you a check of 20000 rupees there is insufficient balance in his account in that case the check will be bounced it will get dishonored so accounts are bank account and customer's account both are personal here it is dishonored so our this entry will be twisted here so here it will be debit and here it will be credit because it will be credit so our entry will be customers account debit to bank account our next entry is if customer directly deposits the amount into bank bank account and customer account We know both are personal accounts, so our entry here will be bank account debit to customer's account. So our entry here will be bank account debit to customer's account. Next we have when cash is withdrawn from bank for personal use. Here we are withdrawing the cash for personal use. We know when we are withdrawing it for personal use, it is termed as drawing. So two accounts come into consideration that is drawings account and other one is bank account drawings is again personal account and again we are withdrawing we are the receiving so debit the receiver credit the giver so again it's drawings account debit to to bank account so this is the entry when cash is withdrawn from bank for personal use next when interest is charged by bank so when we take the loan we are charged interest on it now bank is charging interest on the loan so here interest account and other one is bank account interest we know here interest is charged which is an expense for us nominal account debit all so here nominal account and it's debited because it's an expense bank account is again personal account and bank account is credit and here it's interest account debit to bank account similarly if we had received the interest on it then what would be the transaction again interest account nominal account here in our interest is received so it's our credit and this is debit debit and our entry will be bank account debit to 
Our last entry is if there are some charges related to bank account. So bank charges at some nominal fees for us like for debit card fees, bank charges. So whatever different charges, nominal fees it charges directly it's deducted from our bank account. So we have bank charges account and bank account. Bank account. Here again bank charges is nominal account. And this is personal. This is expense to us. So debit and the credit. So bank charges account. Bank charges account to bank account. So this is so these are our few of transactions banking transaction so this is how we have to understand and analyze the transactions from the business point of view understand which account they belong to and apply the rule of debit and credit and generalize the transactions if you have any of the doubts you can post it into comments and we will solve them at all in our next video we will be taking up another journal entry problem and we will be journalizing the whole transactions and recording them. Until then, happy learning, signing off for the day.